Hey up lads and lads, it's Dan Fire here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange. Today, I want to talk a little bit about what I've been playing around with and testing recently, and that's a sort of weird little hybrid fleet design uh, that I've been testing, which is kind of like mixed between super heavy, um, swarm, uh, and then our older uh, sort of destroyer uh, frigate sort of style uh, fleet. So the premise for this was if I could get like a nice in-between between all three fleets because I don't really have the tech points like most of you to run a proper super heavy uh, fleet design where you're running spears that are maxed out, martial crooks that's maxed out and usually reinforced with solar whales and then you have like cast support which I don't even have. Uh, so it's a very TP intensive fleet uh, and it, you know, obviously that takes a long time to acquire or you spend a lot of money to acquire it quicker. So uh, because I don't have uh, either of those things, uh, I basically went, well, my ST-59s aren't actually that bad. They can be extremely good tanks in the right situation. So I thought, well, I've got ST-59s, my solar whales have all the mods and stuff that I need, I can also make them pretty damn good tanks, I've got enough tech points to do that, and I do want to have some ability to take in Mistral, CVT-800, etc. So the thought came to me, so well, why don't I try and make this sort of hybrid fleet design where I'm mixing some of my destroyers which are maxed out tech points, my ST-59s I can get into there, the low CP costs, I can get them into the fleet quite nicely, or you can reinforce with the five solar whales. So I said, what else do I need at that point? Uh, I was also testing out the, the solar whales um, ability where instead of running the extra three Corvette little hangar, I went back to the healing dock to get the extra um, sort of cooldown. So when you've got the uh, T-800s on there, they just like absolutely numb through things. So it's testing that at the same time, and yeah, it, it definitely works. Is it better than having an extra so 15 uh, Corvettes in your fleet? I'm not 100% convinced of that yet. Uh, in theory, it should be because you're, you know, you're giving like a massive buff to a load of vets and whatever bombers you got if you got the large hangar on as well. So you know, in theory, it should be better, but uh, I'm. I need to double check it and I need to do like a maybe a single solar whale versus a, another solar whale and uh, test it that way to try and work out that. Any, anyway, so we know the Wingtasar AA is also extremely potent, so I've dropped that into this fleet. Only five of them was necessary, I felt. So I needed a screen at that point, which is where I went, well, my best screens are going to be Eris, heavy cannon, they've got evasion, they've got high damage, so they'll work quite nicely. And the base Taurus, again, evasion, good tank and armor, and again, high damage. That's my front line. And I went, well, okay, getting a little bit extra firepower out, what was the best way I could do that? IO, high speed, uh, people are still running the old school Karelian anti-capital fleet. So, a couple of IO high speeds in there will decimate any uh, any front row frigate destroyer fleet. So I, I decided I'd chuck those in there as well. And then we got like a really weird hybrid fleet where we've got this frontline frigate destroyer, midlines carrier, and then back row I got some healing and I had some um, Connemara plasma in there for a bit of high anti-battle cruiser uh, carrier damage output, as well as uh, some series. I eventually dropped the series uh, because they either die too quickly or everything else is dead by the point where they kind of mattered and they're just now healing and I, I went against like a massive whale with a, a fleet similar to this while I was testing and um, it took 20 minutes to kill me but it did eventually just kill me and it was a bit of a slugfest by the end and uh, that was quite a fun uh, battle, actually, to watch. So, uh, yeah, the series uh, decided, okay, maybe I just, if it was cast, maybe if I had the cast support, I'd run those, but I don't have them, so my next 
best option was either the series or the Noma. I put the series in. Didn't work out as quite as well as I wanted to, so I've dropped the series in favor of adding uh, a bit more damage into the fleet, uh, try and kill off as much as humanly possible. So this is the battle report that we've got, and uh, yeah, let's watch the battle, and uh, we'll talk a bit through uh, the report at the same uh, time. So we can see here that we've got a... Uh, Beer Drinker's fleet, uh, it's a very, it, it is pretty much the quintessential meta anti-capital fleet. We have Marshall Cruxes here, that'll have the super cap or anti-super cap uh, stuff on it. we got the Jaeger with the anti-super cap. No Predators I don't think, uh, but it's like a massive air fleet here. I'm not entirely sure exactly how much air, but it was way more than I had. I was running about, I think it's about 83. 85 somewhere around the uh, aircraft so it's um it's quite quite a lot still obviously but uh not like massive and massive amounts uh and yeah so my uh, uh died and as you can see uh sort of midway through the battle here uh i am four percent down on hit points i believe i've lost a couple of my solar whales and my st-59s already however i've done significant damage to his air at this point um whereas my uh although small has done quite a bit of work we still have all our wing tassars up so his air is just going to take more and more damage all our eruses and our tauruses are pretty okay the ios on the front line have been fine the connemara in the back row not even been touched um so the st-59 tanks have been working for those connemara at the back so now it is uh just a matter of time uh realistically yep I have more losses at this point. He could just run away and take that as a win. It's going to take me longer to rebuild than him at the current point. However, uh, in the manner of testing, we, we stuck it out a little bit longer. Because uh, as you can see here, he's got quite a few Vetus Bs uh, still up. Uh, but, you know, T-800s are all down. It's the first time I've uh, come up against uh, AT-021 as well. Uh, so... That was interesting to see what they were capable of. Uh, I, yeah, I haven't actually seen anyone using them as of yet. As far as I am aware, though, they are playing pretty similarly to uh, the Strix, which is quite nice. And, yeah. So, at this point in uh, this battle, uh, his air uh, taken a massive hit. And the problem with the sort of anti-super cap and there you go he is retreated at this point uh the anti-super cap uh style fleet is they do rely heavily on the uh power and if they start losing it their damage uh just r drops drastically you can see here at the end of the battle i've still got half of my anti-ship capability my air defense is obviously a little bit low here but Five wing tassars is still probably enough to take out the rest of the, his air, uh, and uh, it would have been uh, eventually a, a win for me. However, um, on a frontline battle, I'm probably retreating at this point as well because I just don't have the oomph to stick around and um, sort of do much more about it. So here we can see um, I've got my solar whales, five of them. Three of them unfortunately perish. You can see the rest of my setup though. We have Nebula Chaser, Pulse, uh, CVT 800s, Sailor Defenders, obviously. We got a few Strix in there. We got my Vetus Bs on my Ur as well. My Mistral, four ST 59s, four Connemara Chaos. I'm running the Connemara because I don't actually own uh, Callisto Heavy Torp. Um, if you have Cali HT, I would run them over the Connie uh, personally. I think they would do better uh, in most situations. Also running two IO high speeds. Uh, they are plenty of damage for taking out Karelian and any frontline destroyer uh, base because they will retreat to mid-row and that kind of thing. And they're pretty damn tanky now that the strategy 
if they're attacking frigs, is now including destroyers, uh, so they get an increased evasion and all sorts of stuff. So they are very good on the front row now for that. That is specifically the uh, the B variant, the anti-ship variant, or the high-speed variant. I think they're all high-speed, actually. Uh, the B variant, anyway, uh, which is the anti-frig destroyer variant. Also got a handful of Taurus, a handful of Eris HC, and we have a small splattering of winged Hussar here. Uh, so yeah, we can see here he has uh, done slightly more damage, anti-ship damage than me here. But at this point, most of uh, at the end you saw most of us uh, was gone. Where I am still, you know, heavy cannon Eris is out, Taurus is all up. Connie's are out, so it's um, all my main real damage was still up. I lost obviously my air damage in the form of the Vita Speeds and the uh, Cellular Defenders, but most of my air was uh, anti air with the Strix, the Mistral, the T 800s, um, that kind of thing. So we can see here my air defense 540,000, 150 from the uh, T-800s, 130 from the Mistral, and five winged Hussars brought 200,000 AA by themselves. Just showing you how absolutely insane they really can be at anti-air. So, this is pretty much uh, my fleet design. We can see it's a... Weird, like I mentioned a few times now, it's a bit of a weird hybrid between the standard anti-air uh, or the anti-meta uh, fleets that we kind of see where I'm trying to push a little bit of a heavy design in here with uh, the use of ST-59s within fleet, uh, reinforced with uh, solar whales to bring in all of my ability to... Uh, bring my aircraft in in like a nice safe carrier which is pretty tanky so it's going to take a while to kill although it still dropped fairly quickly here these were maxed out on tank by the way those solar whales so he's he's got a lot of dam damage old kethy boy does so that is it for this video I hope you guys have enjoyed, and uh, I have actually got the two other videos the ones two prior to this against uh, Mal's and another against Keth uh, where they handedly beat me uh, in my testing process to design this fleet. If you are interested in that and maybe like a small series on how I uh, go about testing and designing fleets, uh, do let me know down in the comments below. I can definitely work on something like that. Uh, but anyway, have a good one guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you next time